Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Smith's Jets going up against Castle's Bills. Now let's get you out to MetLife Stadium for this matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide as we join you from MetLife Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and welcome to this heated divisional rivalry. Yes, there have been a lot of close games, a lot of bad blood, and it's always intense when these two get ready to square off. How about before kickoff, Parker? Yeah, I think the one thing that's always great about division rivals is you play each other uh, a couple of times a year, and they're both good football teams, that you know all your team is going to be excited to play. They're going to know their assignments, and they're physically ready to go. So, exciting football is a, a hit for us today, and it's going to be fun to watch. The Jets are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And with that kick, we're underway. Graham's got it. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. The Jets drafted him with the 39th pick in the 2013 draft by way of West Virginia quarterback Geno Smith. I thought Geno Smith was the most talented quarterback coming out in the 2013 draft. The Jets were lucky to get him in the second round. He can really run, and this guy has a great throwing arm. The Jets will take the snap from the 25. Line to the left. And gains maybe four. A dominating force at wide receiver is Brandon Marshall. Every team is looking for a wide receiver just like Brandon Marshall. Can we find the guy that's about 6'3 or 6'4, built like a running back, and can make people miss? Well, it, those guys are hard to find, but Brandon Marshall is one of them. Curling's got the catch and the first. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. Now first and ten. To Marshall. He makes the play. Still the prettiest play in the NFL, the long arching pass down the field and watching a speedy receiver run right under it. What a throw, what a catch. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. down all the way. Smith's going back to the air on this play. Can't hold on here as it goes incomplete. On that Buffalo defense, a player to watch, Mario Williams. Boy, do they need help on the defensive side. They need Mario Williams to be a pass rusher that takes two guys to block, so it maybe it frees somebody else up. But Mario Williams paid like a superstar. Now he's got to play like one. Breaking huddle at the eight-yard line. Second and goal from the eight. Hand off. Johnson's going to make the tackle. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal. What are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with a pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Third and goal at the five. Powell on the... What a way to start the game. First possession touchdown. 
as we get near the end of the opening quarter. They grab the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice thing to do to score that touchdown and get a lead here late in the first. Now they come out to the point after. Of course, this year, the new rule, the PAT is snapped from the 15-yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33-yard point after attempt. Marshall's going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game. He just put up over 50 yards receiving, helping his team go down the field for the score. Watkins has got a chance for a return. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34 yard line. Out of USC, quarterback Matt Castle. Matt Castle used to be the backup to Tom Brady. Since then, he's moved around. He's been an all pro quarterback, and he has played well in many, many games. This guy can really play. First down at the 34. Here's the handoff. Offside. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. Bills come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 7-0. to zero. Castle's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. It's David Harris with the sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. Second down and 12. McCoy is handed the football. That's a gain of eight. McCoy's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Daniel Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. The Bills will set up. The 44 is the first down line. second quarter and now the offense will look to build on the lead coming off the interception yeah you know it was a good job by the defense taking nothing away from them but what was the offense thinking with that play call and that throw by the quarterback and it's mario williams who makes mince meat out of that play that's an excellent job by the defense just gets quick penetration in there hits the quarterback and gets the sack that clock keeps moving what a job by the defense in this situation Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. There's a flag out. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. Lined up in the backfield. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Gets about four yards that time. Ivory's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. Third down, following the run. The Jets step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. The Bills come out in a dime package. 
Jason Morrow makes the catch. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. All set to punt here. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Always remember this. When you run a fake run in a punting situation on the offensive side, who's over there on the defense? Well, you've got some of the fastest guys on your football team playing punt return defense. Give them a lot of credit. They got faked at first. They reacted, and they made the tackle short of the first down. A lot of people have to do a good job on play action passes for them to work. And this time, watch the running back. Nice job selling the fake, and it helps the QB. The Jets sat at the line. Dime package. First down at the 33. This will be incomplete. He was trying to find Harvin. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. Fires the one who brings him to the ground. The Bills are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Stepping up to the line at the 10. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Castle's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Second down here. They'll go shotgun here. McCoy has the catch. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes and you need to stop the clock. So he gets it done. Third and goal at the six. Has it. Touchdown. Boy, things suddenly feel a lot different as that touchdown ties things, Phil, right before the intermission. Oh, yeah, it just changes everything. It puts one team in a funk because they let the other team tie it up. And, of course, when you're the team that's behind and you score that touchdown to tie it up before halftime, man, that makes you feel great. The Jets are ready to return the kick. Graham's going to start his return. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Bills defensively have had a great first half, but so too have their counterparts. It's more or less been all about the defense these first two quarters, partner. Well, if you love defense, this is the game for you. And what you do on the offensive side, go in there at halftime, and some of those unique plays that you've been holding back, get them ready and bring them out in the second half. The Jets, one timeout remaining to the line at the 31 yard line the offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play to Cumberland Brown's there to make the stop that's going to be a timeout charge to the offense is in the shotgun. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. A big touchdown right there. They're almost sure to take the lead to the locker room with that score. All touchdowns are big, man. They're all exciting. They all make you feel great. And right now, the offense, they are feeling great about what they did on that last drive. The Jets now getting set for the extra point. Extra point is good.
the Jets now getting ready to kick it away. Watkins going to test the coverage this time. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Bills' offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. I mean, just look at them. they got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence in talent. When you put those things together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. That will bring us to the end of the second quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll take a break and be ready for the start of the second half in just a moment. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Bills offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Bills snap it at the 26. He'll pick up seven this time. When you talk about cattle runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. The Bills take it from the 33. It's Watkins with the catch. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. The Bills, good job that time, moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Second and 12. Play with the reception. That's his first reception today. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. The Bills just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Here's the first snap after the big play. Will go ground. McCoy breaks the plane. Touchdown. <laughs> that touchdown, Phil, ties things up as the fourth quarter is approaching. And who knows, this might be headed for overtime when it's all said and done. Well, I don't know about overtime. I just know this. It's an exciting football game. That was an excellent drive. The play calls were very good. And the execution by the offensive players, top notch. Graham's going to run this one out. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Jets will try to answer right back here with another touchdown. Both offenses dominating the game right now. It's been a while since we've had a drive that hasn't ended in a touchdown, Phil. You're right, Jim. The offenses are dominating, and you look at the defensive players. They are truly on their heels. They don't know what's coming, and they don't know what to do. Can you believe how vertical he got there? I can believe it, Jim Nance. I can because we see it so often. The receivers in the NFL are just unbelievable. We take these catches for granted, but that was a tremendous play. To Cumberland. 
Powell was there that time for the tackle. The Jets did a good job that time. Throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards down. Second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. Smith's completed his last six passes. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. From the shotgun. It's caught by Devin Smith. Smith's tackled down at the 36. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Smith's completion percentage, 90% on the day. To Cumberland. Jeff's coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Smith's lined up. Two tight ends set. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Bills' defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. Breaking huddle at the 23-yard line. First down at the 23. Kellen Davis with the catch. The Bills in a tie game will call a timeout. They clearly want the ball back with a chance to do something. Coming up, second down. The Jets come out. Jumbo package on the field. Kellen Davis has it. Davis brought down after picking up six on this play. Defense. It'll be third down. Tie game in this one. Fourth quarter is winding down. Powell is going to secure the handoff. Game 17. The game is close. Late in the fourth quarter. Everybody's expecting pass. Jim, you were. So was I. The running play fools everybody. Nice play call. Gets a first down. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Loss of two on that play. And it's good. He puts it through, and the celebration is on. Well, Phil, it comes down to the kicker, and he delivers the goods at the end of the game. You know, if we don't give the kickers enough credit. They're the only people that get to go out and actually think about their job before the play happens. Such a reactionary sport. Uh, I give the kicker a lot of credit. Made a big kick in a tough moment. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.